Hey everyone, I um, want to make a little video here, um, just talk about a couple of my knives, um, my, what am I talking about, a couple of my knives, my knives, <laughs> the, the ones that I have, um, some things I did at the sheaths, um, I did a review on this Sugar Creek um, Woods Bum, it's an amazing knife, we're going to take it out, talk about it a little bit again, um, after I've used it for a long time, I don't um, say a lot about this one, was given to me, and damn, it's amazing. Um, but I will uh, talk a little bit about it and some some things I um, some nifty things I've done with my sheaths. Um, might give some people some ideas. Um, for the for the woods bum here, um, let's start by saying I have used the piss out of this little thing. It goes with me all the time. Um, I did a review on it. And you can check that another time. Got a really um, nice patina forming. I talked with Mike about this a little bit. I I wasn't so hot on the grind, and he actually offered to regrind it to take that little shoulder off um, for me because I was afraid I didn't want to goober it up. I didn't want to mess it up. Um, but. Um, before I did that, I just really I went back to to practicing and really honing my technique with this blade and his. I don't know if you can pick it up there. Um, looks like a little bit. His convex secondary bevel is actually a really great grind. Um, it takes a little technique. It takes a little more getting used to. Um, because you got to lay it in and kind of check on your angle and your curve. But once you get the technique down, this little beast can carve just as well as as anything you want it to. Um, just a thick, stout um, knife. And so, Mike, I can't say enough, man. I, I, love, I love this knife. And... The only way you're going to see it again is if you pry it out of my cold, dead hand. So, um, there you go. Um, set that aside for a minute. Um, the only reason I want to talk about this right now is just because you don't see it a lot. Um, this one here... Um, I've put too many pictures up of this knife probably because I love it so much. It's my Bark River Knife and Tool um, Nebula. Like I said, this one was a gift. You see some um, super glue and I had to re-glue a pin because I tried to be as turly and I hammered on the back of a hidden tang knife and it knocked the pin loose. Um, had no problem since then though. I just super glued it back in and I can baton the crap out of this thing. I am um, beat on it endlessly um, with my hands on on the butt um, I tell you what this um this steel let's see if I can get that on camera probably can't um, the 12 c27 steel is just hands down a, a great steel this thing really um, holds an edge super super well um, the grind the Scandivex is is amazing if you can pick up if, if you're looking for a knife and you can find a nebula second hand I'm telling you go for it or it's it's exactly it's essentially an Aurora that's what this is this is this is a Bark River knife and tool Aurora only in stainless steel and with, as you can see, a hidden tang. Um, it, I, I, every time I want to get a new knife, I think, well, yeah, but what would I do with a new knife? Because I love this one, I'm not going to give it up. Um, so there's, there's, there's the pair right now. Um, as a testament to, to, to the, to the nebula, I uh, got some good dirt time today. I went out and 
um, and I made a fire and did some other stuff. Um, started off, found a found a standing dead, knocked down, split it up. This is the sister half. It's what I started out with. A piece looked about like this, only flipped. See a big chunky knot right there. Um, got got a spoon started. Um, right to there. 100% done with this right there. Um, save for my little $4 um, Dollar General saw. This, however, <laughs> upon carving it, um, I realized that this is hickory. So in one afternoon carving session, I, ch I, I sawed a lot of hickory off and I do it all the time. I, I like to play with old broken axe handles a lot and this knife will just carve the bejesus out of hard hard hickory um, and just keeps an edge for forever so testament to Bark River as always and a testament just to this is a great knife um, and I love it very much so there's that.